All of us are dead, every character ranked. There were so many great characters in this show, so I thought I'd rank them from worst to best. Let's jump in. Here is All of Us Are Dead, every character ranked. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. Number 14. Wu Jin The character that I'm going to put at number 14 on this list is the character Wu Jin. I feel he did contribute to the show, but there wasn't enough of an independent narrative for me to latch onto and really connect with the character. For that reason, he's being put in last place. Number 13. Jun Yong Jun Yong was a character that I quite enjoyed watching in the show. I thought he came across as somebody who was for the group and ultimately showed he was by essentially sacrificing himself when the group were trying to escape from the sports hall. He had a small but good arc and I liked the performance. Number 12. Na Hyun. Coming in at number 12 on this list is Na Hyun. Although she was a mean character, I thought the performance by the actress was incredible. She really translated across the screen the mean, classist behavior and views that she had towards what she referred to as wealthies. We saw a softer side to her at the end, and I believe it highlighted just how lonely she was in the real world when she was on her own. But ultimately, her story came to an end and it felt like an appropriate way for her journey to close off. She made someone else a zombie, and then she became one. Number 11. Unji This was a character that I didn't mind. I felt bad for her at the start of the show, but the resentment towards the rest of the school and even the world was something that made me start to dislike her a little bit. She wanted revenge on everyone, and I understand why. I liked the fact that she was a Hamby and got to feel what it was like to hold power, and we saw just how that power impacted her. She killed her friend, which is something that I feel felt a little out of character for her. But by that point, she was independent. I think the actress did a great job in this role, and I'm intrigued to see where they'll take her in season 2, if they didn't kill her. Number 10. Mi Jin I really liked Mi Jin. I feel at the start I was a bit on the fence as she seemed like she was quite tough and had a hard exterior, and I feared her character would lack any depth. But as the show went on, we saw her soften up and actually form relationships with the group. She became a team player and was prepared to help out in order to save the rest of the group. Her journey was something that I liked and felt extremely natural. Number 9. Hari Hari was a character that I enjoyed watching on screen. I loved the warrior mentality that she had and the fact that she was skilled in archery was something that really helped herself and the group out on multiple occasions. She struck me as a fiercely independent person and didn't really get into any conflict other than at the start of the show. It was an extremely sad moment when she lost her brother and I'm intrigued to see where her journey leads her in Season 2. Number 8. Daesu Daesu was a character that I quite liked in the show. Despite not being somebody who contributed to the overall narrative and development in pushing the show forward, his character provided moments of comic relief. When he was calling Hari his wife and also when he needed the toilet, they were funny moments that he brought to the show when there was only darkness in sight, and I liked that. Number 7. Jiong Su Jiong Su was only in the show for a few episodes, but his contribution was definitely memorable. I felt extremely bad for his character after being accused of being a zombie, and then to essentially be murdered and set up to turn into a zombie, it was extremely sad. His turn was the first time we saw it happen to somebody so close to the group, and we saw the gradual loss of the control of his mind, which I feel he acted out perfectly. It was heartbreaking to watch him say goodbye to everybody, and it was a moment that stood out in the entirety of the show. Number 6. Byung-chan The creator of the Jonas Virus This was a character that brought so much to the show despite not seeing him past episode 4. He made the virus with good intentions and never wanted it to be a virus or for it to spread, but when we see him watching the station get overthrown, he looked happy with what he had created. It was a dark moment and a moment which changed the character moving forward. We saw him give himself up and turn into a zombie, but we saw a completely different turn to anything we'd seen. He looked in control, which was strange. I think he's definitely returning in Season 2 and will likely lead the Hambies with the hopes of wreaking havoc on civilization. I thought this character was great, and I think further development will happen in Season 2. Number 5. Suhyuk he was the good-looking popular kid in school who was once on the side of the bullies but is now a good guy. 
Su Hyuk brought so much to the show in terms of bravery, fighting the zombies, and being there for others. However, one thing that stood out and made this character extremely likable was the love and care that he had for Namra, even after she turned into a Hanbi. Their relationship was something that I loved watching unfold and I think his performance was great. Number 4. Namra One of the first introductions to the Hanbis. Namra was the class president who never really showed leadership skills. However, she was kind and wanted the best for everybody. We see her turn into a Hanbi partway through the show, and we see the perspective of what it's like to be a Hanbi through her, which was extremely insightful. By seeing what she sees and by also seeing the zombie-like tendencies that she had, it shone a light and allowed us to understand her character even more. I really enjoyed it when she was on screen and by the end of the show, she seemed like a transformed character that was confident, composed, and more powerful than she ever was. I'm really looking forward to her leading the group of Hambies in season two of the show, finally tapping into that leadership role. Number three, Onjo. Onjo was a fan favorite and I can see why. She brought so much to the show. I feel she was the most human and relatable out of all of the characters in All of Us Are Dead. We saw her survival skills that she learned through her father, and we saw her lose her father in the show. When she was sad, we were sad. When she was happy, we were happy. She was a joy to watch on screen. I particularly loved the relationship between her and Cheongsan unfolding, and the journey they had together. The will they, won't they was a key feature of the show, and when they did eventually kiss, it was such a great but bittersweet moment. It looks like in season 2 that she will be the main focus and be leading the group of humans, and I'm excited to see what will happen. Number 2. Guinam Guinam was incredible. When there is a villain that's more scary than a group of zombies running at you, I think you know the casting, writing, and performance of the character was perfect. He was visually petrifying, and the way that he would carry himself really gave off a stalker feel, almost like he was an animal hunting its prey. That's what we saw in the show. He was constantly after Cheongsan, and when they did eventually meet in the penultimate episode, it didn't disappoint. Insu was phenomenal, and delivered this character so well. And it's a shame that he supposedly died. I hope they find a way to bring him back in season 2 of the show. He was that good. Number 1. Cheongsang the character that I believe is the best in the entirety of the show is none other than Cheongsan. Cheongsan was most definitely one of the main characters and he was extremely likable. He started out as this cold character, but in the show, he lost so much. He lost one of his best friends, he lost his mother, and he eventually lost himself after an 11 episode battle with Guinam. Cheongsan wanted the best for the group and ultimately sacrificed himself for the greater good of them. I think the delivery of the character was fantastic, and although he's supposed to be dead, I think he's a Hamby and will be returning in season 2 of the show. We'll just have to wait and see. So, there you have it. The ranking of all of the main characters in All of Us Are Dead. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. <laughs>